And now, our next speaker, ang ground that they share, si Jeff at ang ating next speaker, is the world of restaurants. Yes, she's a chef and she's going to uh, talk about something very, very... Uh, do, na, it, um, she will tell us about the challenges of the pandemic and the survival of her beloved restaurant. That's because I was figuring out of way of not saying her name first. So now, hindi ko na, pwede ko na sabihin. Please welcome, Waya Araos Wihanko. The title of her story is Everything But The Sink. Hello. Good evening. Thank you so much, John, for that introduction. And thank you, Shorts, for inviting me again uh, for this online version. I was in last year's live version, and it's actually done here in my restaurant in Gourmet Gypsy Art Cafe in our Maginhawa branch. So tonight, I want to tell you about how we've been doing through the pandemic. So when in March, when we were hearing of rumors of lockdown, we had to really plan how we were going to manage the restaurants uh, we were in. So Gourmet Gypsy had two branches. We had one in Roses Avenue. That was our first branch. It's, it's a beautiful restaurant. And you know it's something that was really close to my heart because we really built that from scratch, from nothing. And we were able to make it into a community. So a lot of people um, go there. Uh, when you come to Gourmet Gypsy, most likely you'll know people from the different tables in the restaurant. You know, that was the kind of uh, community we had built around it. So when the pandemic hit, our first concern was how to keep our customers safe and our staff safe. So we decided that um, we will shut down the Roses branch and move all operations to Maginhawa, our new branch and that we would all live here. So uh, I told my staff, we need to be quarantined, we need to be locked down on site to keep us safe from getting infected and you know from commuting, which was almost impossible, so that we could keep operating. We wanted to do frontline feeding in the meantime that everything was um, unstable and unsure and uh, we didn't really know what to do, So, but we could do something so we decided to feed frontliners so by kept doing that you know i thought we all lived in the area i told my staff you know it, it's a big sacrifice to ask you to live here away from your families but if i'm going to ask you to do something hard i will do it with you so i shacked up in my office and it was a big sacrifice for me because i'm a big bathroom person. I like to have a very well uh, appointed bathroom that's like my comfort space. And here, while staying here, I had to make do with a 1.5 square meter bathroom with no shower. I wanted to kick myself in the ass because when we were building, one of my co-teachers said, we should have put a shower in the, in the faculty bathroom. I said, no. One teacher might decide to live here and that will be shit, right? And then I didn't realize I was going to live here. So I didn't have a shower. So I was using my sink as my pail because I found it too low to scoop up from a from a bacha. So I used the sink, I would fill up the sink with water and I'd take a bath from there using a tap. So mid-April, my accountant and my lawyer we were discussing so what's gonna happen you know our bills are piling up uh, we need to decide about the staff about the rent about everything so that we can survive this thing and one decision that we made and they forced me to make actually I didn't really want to make the decision was you need to shut down one branch because you can't afford it uh, if we're looking at the restaurant just doing takeout and delivery, there's no sense maintaining two branches. 
So, during that week when we were deciding, I was having daily calls with a lawyer, with accountant, with our partners, with close friends, I would shut myself in the bathroom and cry myself out in that bathroom. And then my sink decided to die with me. It, det it got detached from the wall. And so, some of my staff helped me and wired it to the wall and sort of uh, plugged up the P-trap so that it wouldn't leak and everything. And two days later, I decided finally that, okay, we're going to shut down the restaurant. And on that day, the sink just fell out straight out of the wall. The P-trap fell off with it. And then I projected myself onto that sink and was crying heartbroken, fat tears that I was that sink, you know, unhinged from the wall, no P-trap to hold everything in and just broken. And I made a post on Facebook and so about the sink. And everyone kept asking, you know, you know, should we send you a plumber? Should we send you uh, something? What do you need for the sink and everything? So two days later, I finally decided I'll make an announcement to to tell people that I've decided to close Cormay Gypsy Roses, and it was one of the most heartbreaking days of my life, and my Facebook post started saying it wasn't really the sink guys um i have to say this aloud to make it real to me that we're giving up gourmet gypsy because in this environment in this pandemic it doesn't make sense for us to maintain two branches so we're giving it up and thousands of people went on facebook and told us how much they loved gourmet gypsy so i spent the next three days again reading through all these posts and crying in my bathroom and you know closing a restaurant is not a one-day affair when you make that announcement um that's not the end of it and in the middle of a quarantine closing down and breaking down a restaurant and finding somewhere to put all your things arranging for transportation it was heartbreak day in day out you know the truck will arrive with all your things and then every day it just gets more and more real what you've lost and what uh that it's no longer coming back so we've dealt with it we've um pivoted and decided that we're not going to go into dine-in and the space here in maginaw will convert to a grocery so dean and owens you can get butter from here we have plenty we also have a lot of baking ingredients so and all your other chefy things that you need it's all here at the gourmet gypsy grocery plugging bawal plugging pero gagawin ko to <laughs> Uh, and we're moving forward despite that and we're getting a lot of support from people who have loved gourmet gypsy through the years um we're trying we're trying out new formats so like tomorrow we're doing a concert of artists that have done gigs in gourmet gypsy before so we want to be able to support them still so we're doing a concert and then we're also uh continuing to support our frontliners we're still providing food up to now so we've realized that you know it's gourmet gypsy is a space we've loved it but more than that it's a community it's a family that's that we've built through the years and um and it takes more than uh, it takes more than a pandemic to kill it, and that we're still here, we're still kicking. And I also learned that you know we need to move forward with hope. And on some days, hope is so hard to find. You know, with the kind of ineptness this government has imposed on us, 
it's so hard to see where the end is going to be but you know hope is a muscle and it's something that we have to exercise on a daily basis so that we can move forward upward or just move somewhere so more than uh so it's everything that's happened to us including the sink and the sink is now fixed by the way it's perfectly glued to the wall we've gotten ourselves a new peat trap a plumber finally came in and i'm no longer unglued and i'm still exercising hope every day thank you thank you thank you very much fya i will be uh, sending so many of my colleagues to you yes kailangan thank you. puntahan ka ng nap, <laughs> nap, napakaraming artista kasi nung lockdown because of our situation you know the gigs uh, suddenly were all cancelled they all insisted that they did not need to multi class gaya ng nirerecommend ni din no mm. alam nila lahat gumawa ng banana cake lahat sila marunong gumawa ng banana cake na ubus ang pera ko sa kaso suporta ng mga artista ng gumagawa ng banana cake, may banana cake plain, banana cake with chocolate, banana cake with nuts, banana cake without cake, banana cake without bananas. Lahat gluten free, uh, fat free, sugar free, lahat po ng klase. Hindi ko po malam kung bakit uh, lahat ng artista banana cake po ang pinasok. <laughs> marami marami salamat sa Although that's not the only thing you do, my goodness, Chef Y wears many hats. Chef, teacher, businesswoman. And, but I don't think plumber, kasi nagpagawa siya ng sink sa iba. Uh, kasama na rin ang daughter, wife, and mother. All of these hats, good luck sa pag-struggle mo to keep them firmly on your head, despite the lockdown. <laughs>